One evening, as Vincent gazed up at the starry sky, he was inspired to capture its majesty on canvas. He worked through the night, painting furiously, driven by his passion and his need to express what he saw in his mind's eye. The result of his labor was a painting that would become one of the most famous and beloved works of art in the world, The Starry Night. Once upon a time, in the late 19th century, there lived a passionate and deeply troubled man named Vincent van Gogh. He lived in the small town of Arles in the south of France, where he struggled to make a name for himself as an artist. Despite his intense love for art and his tireless efforts to perfect his craft, Vincent was often met with disappointment and rejection. He was prone to fits of anger and despair, and his troubled mind frequently led him to seek solace in the bottom of a bottle. Despite these challenges, Vincent was driven to create and to express himself through his art. He had a unique and bold vision, one that was far ahead of his time. His paintings were characterized by their vivid colors, bold brushstrokes, and emotional intensity. He was especially drawn to the night sky and the stars that twinkled above him. Vincent saw the stars as a symbol of hope, a reminder that even in the darkest of nights, there was still beauty to be found. The painting is a stunning representation of Vincent's vision of the night sky. The stars are depicted as brilliant points of light, shining against a deep blue background. The sky is alive with movement, as if the stars are dancing to a silent melody. The moon is a giant, glowing orb, casting its soft light over the countryside below. The cypress trees that rise up from the hills are dark and mysterious, reaching towards the heavens like sentinels guarding the sky. Vincent's use of color and brushwork in The Starry Night is nothing short of masterful. The painting is created using oil on canvas, a medium that Vincent was particularly skilled at working with. The canvas used for the painting measures 72.5 cm by 92 cm, making it a relatively small work by Vincent's standards. One of the most striking features of The Starry Night is its use of color. Vincent used a range of blues, violets, greens, and yellows to create a vibrant and dynamic scene. He employed bold brush strokes to apply the paint, giving the painting a sense of energy and movement. The stars are painted with bright whites and yellows, which give them a glowing, almost neon appearance. Vincent's use of brushwork in The Starry Night is equally impressive. His loose and impassioned brush strokes capture the energy and movement of the night sky and the swirling clouds that race across the canvas. The cypress trees that rise up from the hills are painted with dark, brooding strokes, giving him a sense of mystery and foreboding. Vincent's style was heavily influenced by Japanese woodblock prints, which he collected and studied in depth. He was particularly drawn to their use of bold color and simplified forms, and he incorporated these elements into his own work. One of the most interesting aspects of the starry night is Vincent's imaginative depiction of the night sky. The stars are depicted as brilliant points of light, shining against a deep blue background. The sky is alive with movement, as if the stars are dancing to a silent melody. The moon is a giant, glowing orb, casting its soft light over the countryside below. The cypress trees that rise up from the hills are dark and mysterious, reaching towards the heavens like sentinels guarding the sky. In addition to its bold use of color and brushwork, the starry night is also notable for its perspective. Vincent used a viewpoint that is looking down upon the landscape, giving the painting a sense of depth and dimension. This allows the viewer to see both the night sky and the countryside below, creating a sense of spatial relationships between the different elements of the painting. Despite its beauty, the starry night was not well received by the art world of Vincent's time. Critics saw it as rough and unfinished, and they mocked Vincent's unconventional use of color and form. Vincent was deeply hurt by these criticisms, and they only served to fuel his already fragile mental state. In a fit of despair, he cut off his own ear and presented it to a woman at a local brothel. This act of self-harm was a turning point for Vincent, and he was soon after admitted to an asylum in St. Paul de Monsol. It was during his stay at the asylum that Vincent painted some of his most famous works, including The Starry Night in 1889. Van Gogh painted The Starry Night from memory, rather than from life. He would often work from memory, 
as he found it easier to capture the essence of a scene without the distraction of observing it in real time. Despite the difficult conditions of his life, Vincent continued to create, driven by his love of art and his unwavering belief in his own vision. Vincent van Gogh's paintings have been featured in numerous films and television shows, including Loving Vincent, which is a biographical animated film about Vincent's life and art, and the TV series Doctor Who, in which the TARDIS travels to the world inside Vincent's painting of The Starry Night. But Vincent's journey was not an easy one. He faced many challenges and hardships along the way. Despite his talent, his bold and unconventional style was met with criticism and rejection by the art world of his time. He struggled with mental health issues and poverty, and his life was often filled with loneliness and disappointment. However, Vincent never gave up on his love for art. He continued to paint, capturing the beauty of the world around him in his own unique way. He experimented with color and light, creating a distinctive style that was ahead of his time. And despite the challenges he faced, he never lost his love for the starry nights, which he painted again and again in various settings and seasons. What was the background of Vincent? Vincent van Gogh was born in the Netherlands on March 30, 1853. He was the second son of a Dutch Reformed church minister and grew up in a religious and cultured family. As a young man, Vincent worked as an art dealer in London and Paris, but he did not start painting until his late 20s. Despite his late start, he quickly developed his own style and produced an impressive body of work in a relatively short period of time. Throughout his life, Vincent struggled with mental health issues and poverty, and his personal life was often marked by disappointment and loneliness. Despite these challenges, he remained dedicated to his art and continued to paint, capturing the beauty of the world around him in his own unique way. Vincent van Gogh died on July 29, 1890, at the age of 37. He died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, and although the exact circumstances of his death are unclear, it is widely believed that he suffered from depression and that his death was a suicide. Today, the Starry Night hangs in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, where it continues to inspire and captivate visitors from all over the world. In 2013, the Starry Night was voted the most popular painting in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Visitors to the museum are often drawn to the painting, mesmerized by its beauty and its impact on the world of art. For those who stand before the starry night, it is easy to see why Vincent van Gogh's paintings continue to captivate and inspire. The painting is a celebration of life, a tribute to the power of the imagination, and a reminder that there is always beauty to be found, even in the darkest of nights. In a world that can be harsh and unforgiving, the starry night serves as a beacon of hope, a symbol of the human spirit, and a reminder that, no matter what life may bring, there is always a glimmer of light in the darkness. Vincent van Gogh may have lived a life filled with struggle and heartache, but through his art, he has left behind a legacy that will endure for generations to come. We hope this gave you some more insight into the fascinating history of the Starry Night. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Be sure to check out our other videos for more facts and information and please subscribe. Thank you.